Okay, so this is the Godex G500. Okay, so let's connect power. And let's connect it to our broadband or Ethernet network. Now, we're going to be running this with a Raspberry Pi print server. Now, this is our Pi server. Yeah, it's a tiny little computer. If you bother looking at Raspberry Pi, you'll see. So, first of all, we're going to connect our network to the Pi. And then we're going to apply power to the Pi. And that will boot up. And what will happen is it'll communicate over the internet to our uh, main server that will then recognize where the Pi is. So let's take a look at how we then print. Okay, so back at my computer and the other side of the office. So the first thing we need to do is go to the print server. So when we click this uh, dedicated Godex printer button, it opens up and it goes off and tries to find the printer on the network. Okay, can take anything up to 40 or 50 seconds. So now what's asking us to do is to print a test page to, well, just make sure it's printing squarely. So let's give a quick print and let's take a look at how this comes out. So here's our test page coming off, and as you can see, because we have previously had set the parameters on the uh, printer, that it's pretty good, um, both at that end, that end, all round, and uh, the reg looks pretty good. So as you saw from the print, we've got it spot on. Now, we set it at an a darkness of 8, a speed of 2. If you go too fast, it, it, it misses bits of print. Um, we find we didn't need to offset on the Y axis. Now, the Y axis is the longer edge of the, of the print, but we did need to move it by minus 10 on the X offset. Now, these numbers don't mean anything. They're just numbers. They're not millimeters. They're not bananas. They're just numbers. So you might end up spending three, four, five pieces of uh, material trying to get it right. Now, because of a slight scaling error on the Godex, we're having to correct the actual print itself. But for this particular printer, we're having to make an adjustment of 90, in other words, shrink it by 1.75%. If you need to set the parameters, you know, if something changes, you can just come back in here, enter the numbers you want, and click Send Parameters to G500, and, and that will set them. So we go back to the main software by going Print Server. We need to click Manage Printers to confirm our printer is installed. Because when you do the Godex, search for the Godex, it automatically installs it. The printer's there, and the printer's working. So we go back to the software, we now choose number plates, and we're able to enter a reg. So we can enter the reg on the keyboard, or if you're on a tablet or a phone, you get a nice neat little keyboard um, to enter the keys with. We can put a border on, and of course we can put our bottom line. size we want, we'll leave it at three millimeters. Choose a font as well, BS mark. And then we preview. And now we're offered the Godex, and then we can print it. And here comes our printer. And you can see it's printed our 
bottom line at the bottom and let's put the BS mark over on the side and we have a printer a print of our number plate and that's ready to be laid down onto acetate okay so now that that's printed uh, we can close the window and uh, we're finished and we can get on with another um, plate design I hope this has been useful thank you very much